Okay, so in this very tutorial, I will talk about uh, the solutions of the problems which were asked from quantum mechanics in K 2015 physics. I will try to solve some of the problems from quantum mechanics. I might not be able to solve all the problems from quantum mechanics physics 2015 gate in one video. So probably I will upload more videos where I will discuss the solutions. So without wasting time, let's move to the uh, problems, the questions which are asked in gate 2015 physics. Okay, so this is the gate 2015 paper, physics paper and uh, let's look at some of the simple problems like the this one question number two uh, from basically we are looking at the problems from quantum mechanics so obviously this problem does not qualify i think it's it's related to uh, uh, classical mechanics okay so let's look at question number two the poly matrices for three spin of particles are sigma one sigma two and sigma three respectively the dimension of the hilbert space required to define an operator o cap equal to sigma one dot sigma two plus sigma three is so you have been given three spin half particles and you are supposed to find the dimension of this very particular operator. Now this problem is pretty simple. So you have basically three different particles and uh, you have to find a Hilbert space dimension of that operator. So this is question number two from 2015 physics and obviously quantum mechanics. So here I have three particles, particle 1, particle 2 and particle 3 and there are some operators for this one, this one and this one and now I need to find the Hilbert space dimension for the operator acting on this particle, this particle and this particle which is some sigma 1 dot sigma 2 cross sigma 3. Now for this one I need two, uh, at least there are dimension 2 and I need two dimensions for this one and for this I need dimensions 2. So the overall Hilbert space dimension required to uh, write that particular operator will be 2 cross 2 cross 2 which is uh, 8. So this is pretty simple problems. I just need 8 dimensions to write this uh, operator. Let's look, look at problem number 4. Let L and P be the angular and linear momentum operator respectively for a particle. The commutator LXPY gives. Now the uh, you might be knowing from your uh, basic uh, uh, quantum mechanics course that uh, if I have operator A and another operator B, their commutator is defined as AB minus BA. So this is the definition for commutator. So given two operator A and B, their commutator is defined in this manner, AB minus BA. And uh, this problem asks us to calculate the commutator of LX and PY. So here you have been asked to calculate the commutator of lx and py so so let's try to find the commutator of lx and py so lx and py so this will be lx into py minus py into lx right now lx is basically the x component of uh, 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 this vector operator l the angular momentum operator and uh, this is nothing but r cross p so we try to find this operator r cross p and take its x component which is lx once you calculate lx you simply write, simply find lx into p by minus p by into lx and you find the solution okay so the the x component of uh, this operator um, will be given as y times pz minus z times p y so this is LX which you can basically look uh, from here also like because I from in the determinant representation this is X Y Z and here you have PX PY PZ and this is how you will calculate this operator L this vector operator L so the X component will be Y into PZ minus Z into PY and uh, that will be LX so once you have LX let us try to find this uh, a commutator lx into p lx commutator py now we know that uh, x px commutator is identity i is one basically and similarly y py is the same thing and z pz is same thing but x commutator y or x commutator z is zero similarly px commutator py or px commutator pz is zero or x commutator py is zero or x commutator pz is zero and so on 
So the contribution which will be coming from LX commutator PY will be coming from only this term because here you have Z and PY which commutator with PX is in any way 0. So basically we need to simply find Y PZ commutator PY. And we know that PZ commutator PY is 0 and Y commutator PY is identity. And so this thing is basically Y PY PZ plus Y into PZ into PY. Now this is very simple. Uh, we know that this term will go to 0. So the contribution will come from here and this is identity times H1. So identity H1 I into H1 into identity and this thing is PZ. So so what we found that uh, this uh, this commutator LXPY is I H1 PZ. So where is I H1 PZ? It's D. So the answer to this question number 4 is uh, D. Okay. It's D. Let's look at one more problem before we wrap it up. So let's look at this problem number, question number 6. So we have a spin of particle uh, whose op uh, operator for that is given by lambda into sigma dot V where B is B by root 2 X cap plus Y cap. Sigma denote poly poly matrices and lambda is a constant. We have to find the eigenvalues of this operator A cap. So we have been given a equal to lambda times sigma dot b and b is b by root 2 x cap plus y cap so b is given by b by root 2 x cap plus y cap and sigma is sigma x sigma y sigma g now if you remember uh, from your like uh, basic uh, quantum mechanics course this sigma x is represented as 0 1 1 0 sigma y is represented as 0 minus i i 0 and sigma z is represented as 1 0 0 minus 1 so when you do yeah sorry here we have b is this one by root 2 so when you do uh, when you calculate this operator a cap that will be lambda into b by root 2 sigma x plus sigma y because uh, when we, when i take the dot product x dot x cap dot x cap is 1 and x cap y cap dot y cap is 1 there is no component of z cap here and uh, x cap dot y cap is 0 because they are orthogonal and all so I have contribution coming from x and y only so I have here lambda v by 2 and uh, 0 1 1 0 plus 0 minus i i 0 and this thing is basically lambda v by 2 0 1 minus i 1 plus i 0 so this is the operator and for this particular operator we are supposed to find the eigenvalue which is pretty simple so suppose you have some matrix say 1 2 uh, 3 and 4 oh, very simple matrix they call it some matrix uh, name it say x and suppose we are, we are supposed to find the eigenvalue so the 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 protocol is that you simply find the uh, determinant of 1 minus lambda 2 3 4 minus lambda and you set a determinant of this thing is 0 and the the lambda that you find from here the solution will be the eigenvalue so here you have 1 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus 6 equal to 0 and from where you get the values of lambda which are the eigenvalue in our case the matrix for which we are uh, supposed to find the eigenvalue is given by lambda b by 2 into 0 1 minus i 1 plus i and 0 so uh, this is also very simple case you simply find the suppose the eigenvalues are given by k so you will have minus k lambda b by 2 into 1 minus i uh, 1 plus i into lambda b by 2 uh, sorry it's root 2 it's root 2 so here it's lambda b by root 2 and here minus k and determinant of this matrix I need to put to 0. So so this thing let's it, it, solve it here only. So this thing will be k square minus lambda b square by 2 
into 1 plus i into 1 minus i which is basically 2 this thing should be 0 so from here i get k equal to plus minus lambda v so these are the eigenvalues plus lambda v and minus lambda v so it's option number b so the solution the, the correct answer is b uh, there are some other problems also like uh, say problems from quantum mechanics basically this uh, bose einstein condensate problem then this is i think a statistical mechanics poly exclusion principle um, yeah so basically there are many more problems from quantum mechanics and, uh, and some good problems uh, the, the problems we were discussing were one marks problem very sim simple problem from quantum mechanics uh, in next tutorial and in next to next tutorial uh, i will try to discuss the uh, some of the good problems from quantum mechanics so just get tuned and uh, i will post next video soon thanks for watching